Hey everyone, Rajshekar here and welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, we unboxed the highly anticipated Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. In brief, the S20 FE was the highest selling smartphone at the time of its launch and users are happy with the price and features. I'm also one in that list. Samsung introduced the FE series also known as Fan Edition Mobiles starting with Samsung S20 FE. People loved it. Currently, I'm also using the Samsung S20 FE Snapdragon model as my primary device. After one year, they released one more model in this lineup. It's this the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Today we are diving deep into a full review to see if it still has the hype. This one I got it for 33,000 Indian rupees and this model has 256 GB of internal storage with 8 GB of RAM. Is it a true affordable flagship or are there some compromises? Let's find out. First thing, inbox contents. The S21 FE comes in a sleek box with the phone itself, a USB-C cable, a SIM ejector tool and some quick start guides. There is no charger is provided in the box. If you observe the previous model, I mean the S20 FE, at least they provided the 15 watts charger in the box. It's so sad to see this type of bad trends where there is no charger is providing in the box. Alright, coming to the display, this one comes with a stunning 6.4 inch 120Hz refresh rate dynamic AMOLED 2x screen. The scrolling and navigation feel incredibly smooth and the visuals from the display are vibrant and clear. The viewing angles are good and the touch response rate is also good. Whether you are watching videos or playing games, the display delivers an immersive experience. Also, this is an HDR10 plus certified screen and this display brightness goes up to a peak of 1200 nits, which is enough to use in outdoor conditions too. However, some users might miss the curved edges found on the higher priced S21 models. The bezels are slim all over the screen. For example, look at the bezels of S20 FE and this mobile side by side. You see the clear differences. Even though it comes with a big battery, the overall weight distribution is simply amazing. This one weighs just 177 grams without any case added to it. This display is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. So it's more tougher and durable than other Gorilla Glasses. Even though the display specs and everything is good, some people don't like this like flat screen and also they want even more 1500 nits of peak brightness to use flawlessly even in direct sunlight. So overall for display, I'll give a strong 4.5 out of 5 rating. Come to the processor, this S21 FE comes in two different models. One with Exynos and another one with Snapdragon. Exynos is pumping a lot of heat and thermal issues are there. This one in my hand is a Snapdragon model that comes with a Snapdragon 888 chipset and this is a 8GB RAM with 256GB of internal storage model. In day-to-day -day tasks, this phone performs flawless. Here you can see the benchmark scores as well. For gamers also, this S21 FE handles any game pretty well in medium to high settings. However, if you play the high graphic related games, you might feel warm on the display area as well as on the back side. Even when I ran the CPU throttling for more than 20 minutes, I didn't observe any CPU like over throttling or heating issues. I already did a dedicated gaming review of this S21 FE where I played some most demanding and high graphic integrated games. You can check that video for more details like the temperatures, battery level, RAM management, etc. I already added the link for you in the description box. Feel free to watch that gaming review. Also, this processor is not a power hungry chipset and the battery backup is also nice. I'll share more details about this in battery section. Overall, this processor is great for all day to day tasks and performance is also good. I will give 4.75 out of 5 rating. Now it's time to talk for one of the biggest reasons to buy this mobile, it's the cameras. On the back, three cameras are there. The main one is a 12 megapixel with aperture of f1.8. This one comes with features like dual pixel PDIF and OIS. The second camera is a 8 megapixel telephoto lens with an aperture of f2.4. 
This one has the features like PDAF, OAS and 3x optical zoom. And the third camera is a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with an aperture of f2.2. The FOV angle of this lens is 123 degrees. These cameras produce good results in most lighting conditions, especially during the daytime. Photos are short with accurate colors and portrait mode produces pleasing bokeh effects. You can record videos at a maximum of 4K 60 FPS from front and back cameras. Here are some photo and video samples of this mobile shot in both daytime and nighttime conditions. There are so many options are available in the camera app as well as Samsung Gallery app. You can tweak a lot of things here. On the front, it's a 32 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.2 and it is great for selfies and video calls. But there is no auto focusing for front camera. Here are some samples of the front facing camera too. During the night time, this S21 FE struggles a bit and it doesn't match the performance of higher end phones. So for night time photos or videos, this is not a ideal choice. If you want to know the in-depth camera review of S21 FE with more photos and video samples, I already posted a video of that. You can check the link in the description box. Overall, the camera system is versatile and delivers reliable results for everyday use. But it struggles during the night time. So I'll give uh, a 4.5 out of 5 rating. Now coming to the software. This S21 FE runs on Android 13 with Samsung's One UI 5 out of the box. Recently I got the One UI 6 with Android 14 update. There are so many things retouched in One UI 6 and some features are also added. I did a comparison video of One UI 5.1 versus One UI 6. If in case you are interested, check the link in the description box. One UI is very handy with a lot of features and also it takes the user experience to next level. I'm a One UI user for more than two years and I love this after pure Android. In One UI, you will get all the features that strikes to your mind. For example, dual apps, secure folder, customizations, themes, fonts, and many more. Samsung promised that this S21 FE will be supported for four years of major Android updates and five years of security patch updates, which is a big plus for future proof. So for the software experience, the features and updates, I will give five out of five rating from my side. Now coming to the battery, this S21 FE comes with a 4500 mAh capacity that provides a good battery life for most of the users. In my usage, the battery standby time is amazing. I already posted in community tab for your reference. Even the processor is not a power hungry, coming to the screen on time, I'm getting in between 5 to 7 hours for my usage. I used it in mixed conditions like sometimes playing games, using camera, clicking photos, recording videos, watching movies, phone calls, texting, etc. Actually, you should also get a full day on a single charge with moderate usage. Also note this, the battery backup is not same for everyone. It changes according to each person and the things around them like temperature, lighting, etc. Coming to charging, this phone supports 25 watts fast wired and 15 watts wireless charging, which is a convenience. Also, reverse wireless charging feature is also there that helps to charge any other mobile or TWS or smartwatches that supports wireless charging. But there is no charger is provided in the box. I'll give 4.5 out of 5 rating for this due to no charger in the box. Now it's time to see the extra features that are available and not available in this S21 FE. Coming to the features that are available or it comes with an IP68 water and dust resistant. Next thing, 11 5G bands are available. This one comes with a faster UFS 3.1 storage. NFC option is there, stereo speakers are available 
under display fingerprint sensor is also there wireless and reverse wireless charging support are there these add-ons enhance the overall user experience of this mobile also the vibration feedback is also good in this one it's premium there are some features that are not available to in this s21 fe those are there is no micro sd card support is there for storage expansion and there is no 3.5 headphone jack support is there so for extra features i will give a 4.75 out of 5 rating now let's discuss the pros and cons of this mobile so if in case the cons i mean the bad things matter to you then don't buy this mobile here are the pros one by one this s21 fe comes with a beautiful 120 hz refresh rate amoled display powerful processor is there for everyday tasks and even for gaming good camera system is available light in weight and comfortable design long lasting battery with fast charging and also software updates guaranteed by samsung then 4k video recording support is there for both front and back cameras ip rating and more here are the cons first thing is the plastic design might feel cheaper to some people camera performance is not quite flagship level in low light conditions no charger is provided in the box and finally there is no 3.5 headphone jack support is there now let's discuss for whom this mobile it is actually the S21 FE is a great option for users who want a powerful and feature-rich phone without breaking the bank. This is an all-rounder mobile that fits in every segment in between higher to medium range in all aspects. If you are a hardcore gamer who needs the absolute best performance, there might be better options rather than this. However, for most users, this S21 FE offers excellent value for the price. If you are considering this phone, I hope this review helped you make a decision. I added the affiliate link in the description box. If in case you want to help this channel, you can buy anything through the link while purchasing. Just click the link and buy whatever you want. Thanks in advance for your lovely support. Many of you are already helping this channel. Thanks for watching and take care.